Incident response is a key function of network security operations. Security engineers and analysts use StealthWatch to investigate and respond to events quickly and efficiently. Let's say you're a security engineer and your security response team has notified you that a user is suspected of unauthorized data transfer. They need you to pull back historical conversations to confirm. The alert you receive might look something like this. Since you know the suspected user's IP address, you can do a host search up here in the right corner of the screen. Host is selected in the type control, type in the IP address, and click search. Now you see any records matching created by this host IP address. You see this one has quite a number of alarms and definitely warrants deeper investigation. So you click on the IP address and drill down to more detail. On the host report, you can see a wealth of information about this host. You can see that the user named Frank is the only one who has logged into this machine in the recent past and when those sessions took place. You might look for times that match the first scene last scene in your security alert. You can look for internal and external traffic for any spikes, but for right now you need to get to the individual's flow for this user. Click on flows and set the query parameters to include the time of your suspected event, like the last eight hours. Then run the query. Note that I'm on the advanced tab for this. It allows for more options. When the query completes, you can see all conversations during that time period and who this Frank was talking to. Save this report for future reference by clicking Save Results. Then you can set some filters to look for the parameters in your original alert notice. You might filter on transfer byte ranges that match the alert to see where Frank has been sending files. This traffic to China looks really suspicious and matches the file size in the alert. You can now conclusively move forward with taking this machine offline, reporting Frank to the proper authorities, or putting him on a watch list for further investigation. Whatever your security violation protocol requires, you have all the information right at your fingertips. Check back soon for more quick, useful workflows like this and other tips and tricks for using StealthWatch to protect your network against advanced threats.